We're here in the barrel cellar at Maison Jane Eyre with Jane, and we're standing in front of a barrel that's very important to us. This is one of the two barrels of Savigny Le Bon Cuvée Arthur Girard that we bid on at the hospice. We did. And you have completed or are completing the élevage for us. So tell us what's going on with this barrel. Okay, so it was actually really interesting that given 2021 was it was a cooler year. We all know that we didn't have these wonderful hot summers that we've had in previous years. And my initial instinct when I buy wine through the hospice is to, because they come in the new barrel. So when we go and pick them up in January, we, we pick the whole thing up. So it comes in, in the new oak. And generally I tend to take them out because I'm just always worried that 100% new oak will dominate the flavors. And especially given that 2021, just being a little bit more of a delicate year, my first thought was, oh, we're going to have to take them out. But interestingly enough, um, the oak never dominated the wine and was really nicely integrated. You get some really nice spice and some cedar from the oak, but it's integrated really nicely in the wine. And so I just went, okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to leave it and I'll keep watching it. And it never got to a point where I thought that the, the, the oak dominated the wine. I think it's always complemented it from the start. And that's an interesting thing because the hospice... Previously, it was just one Cooper, Francois Frere for the reds, which um, each Cooper, like each winemaker, has a slightly different style in uh, the oak that they source and the way that they do their toasting. And these actually came from Caddoux, uh, who I think are getting better and better. And they're just really elegant barrels that really complement the wines. And so they stayed in their barrels until a month ago when we took them out and put them into into tank to get them ready for bottling um, later on this month. Well, next week? Next week, indeed. Fantastic. Next week. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a joyous wine to taste and, and, and sniff now, I have to say. As you say, there's no heavy oak character there at all, but it's given it a bit more shoulders. The spice notes are there, um, that kind of cigar box character, but still lovely bright fruit, um, long refined tannins, delicate aromas, but definitely kind of steel at the core, it's delicious. Everything you want to drink. That, 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 that's the whole thing with, um, with Pinot, is that it's an aromatic variety, mm. and so you want to enjoy how it smells. Um, I can't choose you, you've got an empty glass. I know. So obviously that's a good sign, Tom. Yeah. Um, but I think the 2021s just almost go back to being a little bit more of a classic Burgundian year, and they're beautifully aromatic, and I really think they're, they're just actually lovely to drink. Brilliant. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Tom.